Let's look at cycle recording. Cycle recording allows you to record in a loop. So, multiple takes for the selected cycle range. Very helpful for solo work or tricky parts that you might want to play over and over again until you get them right. So when you're done, Logic will create a take folder. All of the takes will be available in that folder. And the cool thing is that you can use audio comping to select the best parts of each performance and then piece them together into one take. Now that is known as the composite take. And the, the way you choose the best parts is by using the quick swipe combing function. Let's look at it in action. So I have created this uh, small passage. Let's have a listen. Let's record some bells and let's use a synthesizer. So I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to set it to input 2 because that's where I put my instrument. And I'm going to arm record it and activate the input monitoring. So remember, control R and control I. Now, your cycle range will be that of your cycle. Quick reminder. If you want to know about the functions, all of the functions of the cycle bar, you can watch the sixth video of this series where I go into detail about all the functions. Now, so let's say that I want to create multiple takes just for the first bars, first four bars, and not the whole thing. So I'm going to set my cycle range just for these four. So remember, you can just choose one of these and press Command U, and it will cycle the range, the length of the region. Now, when I click record, it will start recording until it reaches the final bar, and then without stopping, it will loop from the beginning again, and it will create a new recording, and that will go on until I stop it. One little thing that will make my life a bit easier once I start combining takes is to have them be created in different colors. So right now, each take will be blue. And I don't want that. So, command comma. And then go to what was the recording, recording project settings. And then check this one automatically, colorize takes. And that's it. Uh, so now every take that will be created in my take folder, it will be a different color. So let's try it. I'm going to... Uh, turn the counting on and let's do a few takes. I'm going to press R. Okay, that's fine. As you can see, it has now created a take folder. All of my takes are here. Each one has its number, one, two, three, four. And the active take is the one that is in color. So the fourth take right now, the last one. And it's also the one that is on the top. So these two are the same one. So in the upper left corner, we get three options. Uh, the first one, actually, let's, let's make this one bigger. So Control and Z. Whenever I make this one big, I'm always reminded of how bad the graphics are in Logic. In any case, the first one, this little triangle, allows you to hide it or show it. You can also do that by double-clicking here. And there's a shortcut for that. I think it's uh, Control F, Option F, Option F. Next to that, we've got the number take. If we click on it, we get a list of all the available options and you can choose which take you want from the list. Let's say I want take two, I can just simply click on that. Or you can just simply just hover your mouse above the takes and then select one of the takes like that. Now next to that we've got, we can change between the quick swipe combing and editing mode. When it's on the scissors, then it's on editing mode. 
and when it's on these little squares here it's in quick swipe combing mode now since i try to cover as much as i can about logic i'll show you a mostly useless function that you'll probably never use so the way it's set up now when i am in quick swipe combing Whenever I hover my mouse above the non-active takes, you can see that my mouse turns into a bar. And that happens no matter where my mouse is on the region. So if I bring up the preferences, command comma, and then go to general and then go to editing, I get, where is it? I get this uh, option here. It's quick swipe and take editing click zones. So when this is checked, and I hover my mouse. I hover my mouse over the non-active takes. It only changes to this this swipe bar when I'm at the center of the region. Above or below, you can see above above it actually. It still acts like a mouse. And the difference is that in this mode, I can just grab the region and move it. Otherwise, I can't. So command Z. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to leave this one off. So you have recorded multiple takes and now you want to combine sections from different takes to create your final composite take. And that is done with quick swipe comping. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I'm going to make them bigger. So let's start with one. Let's say that I want number two. So all I have to do is just go to take two, click and drag for as long as I want. And you can see that the colors help now. So right now I have take one. It starts with take one and then we go to this mustard kind of color. So that's take two. And then goes back to take one. Let's say that now I want take three. I want take three from here. So it's going to, I'm going to keep take one. Let's do that. Or actually let's use the fourth one like that. Let's see what we have. It's not good. I'm going to extend this one. That's fine. So that's our take now. Now this is an example. When you do this for something more important, you have to make sure that your edit points happen in the zero crossing point. The zero crossing point is when the waveform is changing from zero to negative and vice versa. Actually, let me open up the audio editor to show you what I mean. So let's press E, a oh, file, that's fine. Let's zoom in. Let's make them bigger as well. So here's, here's is the negative and the positive. So when they cross at exactly that point here, when you cut in that exact spot where the signal is crossing from positive to negative, then you will avoid the annoying pops and clicks uh, that happen otherwise. So in that example here, it's going to sound terrible if I cut here, but you get my point. So preferably do it when the note, the note dies out. So let's go back. Now, what else we have? Okay, so if you want silence, a specific section so let's say that I don't want to use anything here on the second part or the third part all I have to do is hold shift and then click on it and as you can see now this will be just silence but I did like that so let's put it back it was until here now, if you want to audition the exact selection you have on another take, simply just click on the one you want. So let's say that I don't want to listen to this note here. I can just simply click on the other takes and it will move up. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go back to one. That obviously makes more sense when you have the exact same take, exact same part in different takes. So let's say a vocal part. And you can just, you know, audition between these to find the best take of the vocals. Now, if you want to move a selected area to the left or the right, you can just simply hover your mouse above the selection and then just simply click and drag left or right. Okay. Now, once you're happy with what you have, you have a few options. Now, I can go back to this letter here, click on it to bring up the options and what we have created right now this up here is comp a i can click on duplicate duplicate comp to create an identical comp there it is and now it will change to b so what i can do is i can just simply keep comp a as my main one and then just keep experimenting with comp b so i'm going to rename this one as my a and then rename it to my original comp original i can press ok i can just leave that as is the original and then go to b and experiment with that or i let's say that i don't like this one i can just simply delete it and i can and i can now have only a so if i'm 100 percent happy with what i've got and i like it i can just go down here and click on flatten that will delete all the takes and keep and we are left with the selected regions from our takes command z to go back the option underneath that flatten and merge will do the exact same thing but it will actually merge them together into one region let's see that so now i've got just one take let's command z and go back Go back and once again what I have here is I can just move my active comp to another track and that will remove all the selected regions of my takes I can go back so the there you go or I can simply have, I think I forgot something export active comp to a new track so that will keep that one and it will create a new track with just this one I don't want that let's go back now unpack will split the take folder into new tracks but all of them will go through the same channel strip let's have a look as you can see in the inspector so track inspector channel audio one audio one everything is in audio one and if i open the mixer as well you can see that we only have one channel strip for all of these so let's go back if you want to unpack uh, you know into new tracks that do not go through the same channel strip then you click on unpack to new tracks and as you can see in the mixer as well it has created new tracks for each channel and then let's say that you we are in this situation and i can just simply press command z that's fine but if you have other takes and you want to combine them into a folder pack, then what you do is select shift, oops, you select all the tracks that you want, then right click on it, then you go to folder, and then you click pack take folder. Yes, that's the one, and that creates a take folder. Let me delete these ones. Let's go back to that. And lastly, you can unpack the new track alternatives, which I personally find difficult to work with. Now, what I personally do, and might be good for your workflow as well, is to duplicate um, the track alternative so that you always keep a backup in case you want to revisit it. So here's how you do that. If you remember, it was we press Option and T as in Tango. Then we select track alternatives. Now I'm going to duplicate that. So duplicate. I'll select A and then rename that to comp. 
that's fine, so that I know what it is. And then go back to B. And now I'm going to flatten or flatten the merge. And that's what I'm working with. That's my comp, I'm happy with it. And let's say that for some reason I want to revisit that in the future or make changes. Everything is available when I go to comp. So everything's here. And let's go back to B. Now be aware that takes more space in your hard drive. 